Hello, welcome to Beehive Evolution. Today I'm making a short video on the general uh, cutting of the bottles. Some of you have asked for that, so I'm going to show you exactly what I do. And um, it'll be fairly uh, lots, of, lots of things to, to learn, anyways. The first thing, the obvious one, when I cut the balls, I use this. I mean, you know, for me it's the best. I make a little slot and I cut. Uh, if you don't have this, uh, a hand saw, with the, a fine hand saw might do, like a, you know, you might, should, should do it with that. So you can always do that. And then, when you'll need to cut, to adjust a bit more, just a simple scissor. And these bottles now are universal, so you probably can get identical. There's a bit of a difference, like this bottle is different from this one. So you'll have to make some judgments on, on where to cut. So if we're cutting once it's cut, if you have to adjust a bit, this is a, a good scissor will do the job for, for this one. And it's very, very tough plastic. And it's one of the best plastics for the bees because uh, uh, there's a, anyways, it's, it's guaranteed that there's nothing in there that can be harmful. Because if we as beekeepers want to keep the bees if we start stuff with plastics and put all kinds of plastics and we ourselves uh, pollute and pollute them with different toxins so we have to be very careful on what we put in there so if it goes a bit harder I was cutting a bottle and it was way thicker and it was pretty tough you can always use, I use a straight tin snips and again you know it's very very easy to cut okay so now when you come to the bottle itself you will see from this bottle, this is a different bottle from this one to this one. So I have to judge it differently. This one's an easy one because it's uh, smaller here, bigger here. So this is a, like a, a no-brainer for this one. I cut it here and then I cut it uh, minimum until it, it goes in nice. So that's where I use a scissor to, to adjust. So on this one I cut there first. And then I cut this here, and then I put the cap on the bottle, okay? Once I got the cap on, then I put these types of screws, okay? It goes on, bang. And then I put three, I pre-drilled three holes, and I put these screws. And they're, they're fairly nice because they're threaded all the way so they catch. And you, be, you have to be careful because you're going to open this maybe once or twice a year. So uh, just put it in easy. If you, if you burn the hole, you can always dr drill so it's not the end of the world if you, if you uh, strip the, the, the plastic. And uh, there you go. So now it's on. Now we have our screws. And I would take a file with a, with a, with a uh, clamp it with a... Uh, Plier and just file the, the the very sharp tip of it for I don't know maybe for the bees you never know what can happen. All right, if you remember well on the video number two, the see-through hive, I showed you how I cut this and I put various various uh, things, one with the screen, one and one with this, and then it transferred out uh, to to another compartment. All right. So, I will just tell you this, in this one, I had put a slightly more complicated uh, things for, for screens and, and uh, queen excluder. And I'm trying to simplify everything for you guys, so that it doesn't, it get, doesn't get hard. So simply, the bottle itself, it just rests on the wood in the bottom. And the weight itself, and the bees will propagate a bit, and when it gets cold, it's going to be heavy, so it's going to stay at this place. So we have our hole here. So it's on. So if you want to block it, you simply make yourself a little tin uh, thing like this. And when you do tin, always cut your corners in like this. So you don't cut yourself. And like this. So now you got a nice little thin thing that you can hook like that. So if you if you need to shut it off, simply lift your bottle a bit and there'll, there'll, there'll be some leeway in this one so it can be lifted 
and just slide this under. Alright? So you blocked it. If you want to put a screen, well, simply take a piece of screen and lift it up and put it there so you got the screen. Or if this is a queen excluder which has special size holes, well, the same applies. You cut a square of the queen excluder, a plastic queen excluder that you can cut, and you simply lift your ball and put it there and that. So that's manual, and then so it saves lots of uh, complication and lots of work to get to that. Now, I showed you in video number two, and it's, it's nice that if you go back and watch these videos, I showed you how I connect this to a bottle on the outside. All right. So watch the, the second video, so you'll understand. You'll see what I mean. So now to get to these things, whatever, go to a, a lumber yard or a, any store that they sell all kinds of, kind of pipes, and look around. Get pipes. You see that. This is black pipe, all right. this is safe, this is for water, uh, it's used everywhere. So you can get different types of pipes and they all fit in one another. So you can find the, the right size you need, close anyways. And you see this is a transparent one, so uh, I can use that. And for the flexible ones, for the flexible ones, well, there too. Have a look at the store. You get this and this, and uh, somewhere like that. Like I said, I want to find out first the the type of plastic. I don't want to bring toxins into the the bees. So uh, before before I get bees in there, I will make sure somehow I can find out if it's safe for putting water in and you can drink it, so therefore it will be safe for the bees. Alright, so we're there. Now, to cut holes like this, alright, in there and in there. See, I've never drilled the holes yet because this is a concept, it's a prototype, and that, as I'm going, it changes it. When you do a prototype, many times what you visualize when you start will not be the same as when you finish. So, there you go. And then, with these bottles also, I mean there's no end, you can, you can make them longer if you feel that you need more volume. Um, you know, you can cut this bottle from this point to this point and even put that in the center so you'd have a very tall one. Uh, you know, if you feel, uh, you'll have to experiment with, uh, that is all possible. So now, when it comes to drilling the holes, okay, first of all, you, there's all kinds of cans, so uh, bottles and stuff, so you, you, where you live, uh, you might have different than us or whatever. But the basic tools for drilling holes in plastic, there's one that's very good to drill holes, let's say, in your, your small caps, if you, you know, you just go and this goes very nice, okay? Then this is a this is a good one here. From this bottle, this is uh, 25 millimeters. I take one inch, anyways, and uh, they they go nice to to drill this. You can just snug, and they're easy. They're safe. These are safe. You, you know, you, and uh, you just drill the hole. And then you take this kind of bottle, this also should be universal, and uh, I found out that many other cut brands have exactly the same diameter here. So you cut this right here, and you simply after that when you have it, it's, uh, you can leave a bit of edges because that helps to keep it in, and then you just push it back in. Sometimes it takes a little persuasion, but uh, there you go. And this one you don't even have to. To hot glue, okay. This one will stay right there, okay. So you see, with the little holes, I, I make little vents. Uh, if you don't want the vent closed, you just take another cap and bigger, and so on and so forth. What I would do with you is get the ball, start start drilling, try it out, uh, try all your sizes, get your pipes that you need, see what you need, start experimenting, and then when then when you're ready, well, you. 
start with the, the big stuff. And for bigger things such as this, again, I do use a hot glue gun like this. And I and this is a like a good, very good glue. There's different types, so be sure when you buy you buy the, the strongest and the commercial type if you can. And you simply glue it all around and I tell you this is this is not going nowhere as well. And <laughs> this is not going nowhere, it just went. So I I wanna I was discussing what could we do for this not to happen when you got bees in there. So one option is that when you get the bottle, all right, this bottle let's say, and you if you have spare pieces, which you will, I'll show you when I'll cut another series of balls. You can cut that a bit bigger here, all right, so that you do, and the hole will be smaller, so that you do have a nice place to put your screws. And when, when you want to put the uh, it in here, you just you get spot welded or with the hot glue, and then it's going to be easy to to drill your your little little put your little screws in there. There's also silicone that you could put around, but if the screws and everything is nice, uh, why put other chemicals or other things that we don't really know what they'll do. All right, so in that case, I would, and that's going to happen this way, I would maybe, the hole is smaller, I would maybe just pre-drill a little, a little screw and put it on both sides. Because all these plastics sound all nice and fine, but you got to find plastics also that you know that are not cheap, that they won't, you know, after a year they start breaking and when you got, and then when you got bees in there suddenly, this pops off and this cracks here and everything else. So find some um, quality plastics. So that's pretty well it. You've got uh, your, the bottles cutting the holes, the, the other stuff that go from one, one bottle to the other. So uh, that's the general thing you, knew, you need. And if I were you, I would buy one of these kits. I mean, this, this you'll need for, for all kinds of things in the hives. So, uh, it's a bit expensive, but uh, you can use that for many, many other things. So, for now, God bless, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.